Oh boy. Sinking it below my knee. hike out in the snow and haven't used the backpack for a while it's a super warm day today or the day that we went on this uh, for April 2nd it's one of the warmest days of the year so the snow had melted a little bit which you'll see is to the detriment of the hike a little bit and uh, anyways used the new stove some new pots uh, some new uh, shoe spikes and uh, what else did I take? I had a new chair, which is can't really review because that was in the snow. Um, and uh, sleeping bag liner. Sleeping bag liner I loved uh, as far as keeping my feet warm. Uh, I think that helps a lot. The shoe spikes that I got did have uh, a little few issues. The first, the good, they, they actually fit on my shoe very well. They were comfortable. They were doing their job great. Well, on the side where the little chain comes out, I uh, caught it on the with my other shoe a couple of times. Made me trip, actually falling one time. That wasn't good. Uh, scraped my elbow a bit on that uh, snow cone-like snow that was up there. When I did trip, it broke the chain on one side. And so I'll have to repair that. Yeah, going over them there mountains. Gears. People skiing in April. Pretty awesome. This is like 12 miles out of Salt Lake City. Get some spikes on. So, where I wanted to go, I forgot my snowshoes. Thought about it, never got them in. So, came down a little farther. That other one said it's forbidden. Do it without snowshoes. going to be kind of sloppy. Got the spikes. 
spikes on. They should do the trick. Okay, it's less than a mile, which is good. Because Oh boy. Blood on the elbow. That was my spikes catching my other shoe. Stop right. over there. Thought maybe this was it. Don't think so. Keep sinking it below my knee. It was hard up here. I gotta get back over there. If I can step up without going through. down there. I can't go down there because the snow is too deep. It's going up to my thigh now. It's starting to harden up here. So I'm staying where it's safe. Where the sun is hitting that all day up soft. Ah, oh, my feet. Got a little snow in them now. This uh, thing broke. So it's feeling a little funny on the bottom of my foot right now. I don't think I'll venture out on the lake. Looks like it goes right across the lake though. Not sure. Doesn't look very big. Now we gotta find a camp spot. Let's think about some of the things I forgot. Snowshoes. First thing. Second thing, my pole, I had those in the car. Those would have been helpful getting out of the holes a couple times and maybe hope not falling in. And those are the two main things right now. So I tried to take it up there. 
a ways. It's just too deep and too soft right now. It'll probably start freezing up. But I came back down here because it's kind of a low spot. But it's coming up to my mid thigh. Probably higher than that. Probably four feet up there. This is kind of a low spot. Look. There's one of the holes I stepped in. Just sunk me right down in there. Other than that, this has been pretty good right here. A couple of spots started to sink. Might have been good. Come up here in an hour. Things start to freeze. Where I was trying to put the tarp and it was just too soft. Time to dry out. Shirt is back. Alright, look at the legs. They are <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see that. They're kind of beat up. Oh, trying to stomp this down right here. Put some different clothes on. Then we can warm up again. Whew. All right. <laughs> in the snow trying to get set up it just sinks to my thigh got this kind of pack down here but uh, oh yeah so pretty warm except for my feet so I only brought this one pair of shoes which are waterproof but I was wearing shorts I kept falling in the snow so the snow is getting down here and my socks are all wet I got some nice wool socks here somewhere. Put them on right now. I'm just putting in this nice warm coat. Get my toes warm. Other than my toes, everything is good. I'll probably put them by this water here. So, just gonna eat a little bit. Get my feet warm. I'm gonna crawl in there, get finish getting the camp bed ready. Watch the steam go. It's cooling off. Pretty good right now. This is the first time I've used this little stove. Working pretty good. Slide off a little bit. I've had this tent, this Wetzel tent, for I don't know how long 20, 25 years. It's been a great tent. There's another one that I used to use. I liked it a little better actually, but uh, that one the zipper broke. And my son bought a new one. He asked if I wanted to try it, but I was like, yeah, I'm going somewhere that might be tricky. I'm gonna be setting up a new tent. I'm glad I didn't. It would have been a nightmare. This was bad enough. So that last half mile hiking up here was uh, that was a crazy half mile. Kept sinking. But we made it. I made it. It's only me. 
and yeah. So I'm glad I got this coat. It's a waterproof, warm coat I'm just kind of laying on right now. Got this chair. Bought this new chair, sunk in the snow, waterproof pants. I don't know if that jacket is kind of wet. It's probably dried off now. And yeah, feet are starting to warm up a little bit. It be a little while. So I'm gonna arrange this so I can get that heat on my feet. Made it, survived through the night. Okay, I'm not gonna do that again. That snow's crazy, trying to get camp set up. And sleeping wasn't too cold, so that was okay. Turned the stove on in here a couple times just to heat it up a little bit, but um, yeah, so yeah, not sure what to say on that. I'm gonna try to get out of here. So the one thing, uh, well, several things I should have brought on this trip, snowshoes to get up here. My poles, I forgot, not a big deal, but uh, an extra pair of shoes. These shoes got soaked. I left them outside and now they're frozen. I can't even get into them right now. I'm trying to uh, thaw them out with some warm water here. I need to get my foot in there. Looks like they're warming up maybe a little bit. Yeah. Head back home this morning. If we can get all this uh, packed up in the next uh, half hour. Thanks for watching. in the car leave out got the GoPro out had it too stuffed in there to film anything on the way back on the trail it's like another beautiful day